turns out the Red Hot Chili Peppers will be performing in Seville. Barcelona. I can't pronounce that one. Budapest. Firenze. Manchester, London. Welcome to Dublin. Glasgow, Leuven. Cologne. Paris. Hamburg, Denver. San Diego. San Francisco. Los Angeles. Is that what they think of us? I think so. <laughs> Dotting their 70s yeah. news anchor finest, the Red Hot Chili Peppers epically announced their world tour. And a year later, they are still on the road. They just did Sound on Sound nice. this past week. You said it was know, amazing. It right? was really cool. Yeah. Global Citizen the weekend before that. Yep. But as busy as these guys have been, they vow to be mindful about what they put into their bodies, which uh. has become this big trend among yeah. artists these days, which is great, nice yeah. shift. Um, and I had the awesome opportunity to tag along with the two chefs, keeping them healthy on the road, and uh, got to see a typical day in their lives. I like this. Cool, check it out. Yep, yep, uh-huh. Cute, that'll do. We're kicking things off at the grocery store. We always need loads of lemons. Garlic, for sure. We're at Citarella, and you guys are here to get all the things you need. Carrots, Carrot. fennel, green onions. There you have it. Okay, so let's do it. Yeah, let's do this. How you got thrusted into this world of chefing for these world-class musicians. Woo. I started making chocolate and I sold it at a local grocery store in Los Angeles called Erwan. And then the guys found it through friends and just through knowing them and they decided to take some on tour. But I didn't start cooking for them for a long time after that. I think people now in the rock and roll industry are like, they're focusing more on not only what they, they eat, but their, their habits. It's all health driven these days. It's more centered on health. Whereas, yeah, 20 years ago, it was definitely not centered on health. When people ask me, what do you cook? What do they like? Or what's your specialty? I often say, my specialty is listening. Food is our first medicine or it is our first poison. A lot of people do admire the band, how they have been able to stay healthy for so long. You know, we know some of them have had journeys, but let's say Anthony specifically, lead singer of the band, how amazing he looks. What about his diet? No sugar, okay. no gluten, no dairy. Basically that, and then on that, there's high in protein. Have you got some game meat? Game meats, like more wild meats rather than just your chickens and your, your beef. Food is so personal. So part of why he's able to remain youthful is because he's listening to himself. He's listening to his body and how it responds to the different things that he's putting into it. You know, he has had a journey and he has maybe learned the hard way that when you put certain things in, it can be very destructive. And so they get to perform, they do their job, they work so hard, and then they get to eat. Give us a rundown of your day. A load-in day is generally, we get picked up by a driver and we hit up the specialty stores, a basic grocery store. Where should we go first? Let's go to the meat section. We're looking for certain things that usually we can find pretty readily. So when you are on, like going on location, you're going on the road, things like that, these types of pantry items you still have to purchase. Like you can't bring a lot no, of No, we carry a lot. Wait, we've got flight cases that go with us and we carry so much, but there's Entry items and there's the dressing room items that we've got to constantly keep on top of. We're buying smaller quantities because we're not cooking for everybody. Um, we're cooking maybe for one or two of them, but we're waiting to hear. We still don't even know the plan for tomorrow. So we're preparing, what was it? Combating the unknown. Combating the unknown, rolling that dice. Tell me about some of the difficulty with the festival. Okay, so the festival doesn't really have a place for us to set up a full kitchen. So normally we travel with huge road cases, ovens, pantry items, and this festival has a very limited space. So tomorrow we're gonna be just cooking a very simple meal and we're not doing a full day of cooking like normal. And the next day is show day. <laughs> Show day, just hit it straight onto the food, and then that's us all day. And then it's off to the next. Yeah, totally. Go yeah. back, City. lock those cases up, clean down, clean down, lock those cases up, roll them onto a truck, and that goes to the next city. When I look at like the tour schedule for the Chili Peppers, I mean, like they are traveling a lot. How do you do it? I would say we lean on each other a lot. We're a great team. What we do is such a noble, beautiful thing, and I wouldn't want to do anything else on tour. I've been in a world of this whole bubble, and next I'm kind of thinking restaurant maybe, but little, small restaurant. I have a cookbook started, so hopefully I can finish that project. All right, so that's a wrap. We hope we got everything we needed. Fingers crossed. Okay, so let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's go.
Mm. Okay, so we left the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And then the ladies took us to Central Park where they made their Romesco sauce. Mm -hmm. It's the Red Hot Chili Peppers' favorite thing in the world. So um, and it is so easy to make. I made some. Very easy. Sorry, that was my hand. Now you can. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sam is trying to get it down to the bottom. I'm trying to get down to the bottom of this. And Mike, you know, I I'm appreciate, in, in. you know, I'm, you're, I'm, you're I'm. indulging. It's healthy stuff. It is healthy. You know, can I just say something? You are really talented. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> like, this really? is something that you it's would pay top dollar anywhere. I mean, I just followed a recipe. And you can too at home. Mm. ABC7NY.com slash mornings at 10. The secret ingredient. Um, usually, Romesco sauce has paprika. This one has curry powder. Mm. This makes it's it great. different. Whatever. I know I'm supposed to read something now, but I'm, I'm busy eating this. <laughs> and this is delicious. <laughs>